Hi, this is Wayne Tully, and today we're going to ink uh, our Cyclops drawing. Uh, we'll start with the head. And what I mentioned before about inking, it's it's sort of going over the pencil lines, but then it's also improving the drawing if you can. As you can see I'm adding certain lines here and there that will hopefully help improve the drawing. Brow there, or unibrow, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Let me draw some smaller teeth that go on the bottom like that and separate them slightly with a bit of shading. As you can see, that, that head looks slightly better now. I'm start to do some other shading under the head area like the neck muscles, shoulder muscles it's up to you how much detail you add to the whole drawing yeah, because it'll be our drawing, so you know, just just have fun with it, really. You know, that's all I can say. And when you're drawing, don't be too concerned about you know lands here, lands there, um, exact ways of drawing things. It's it's really just about exploring you know art and uh, you know the way that you draw personally you know the way i draw it could be different from the way you draw so don't worry about you know drawing things in certain ways because you'll find that out yourself if you're serious about drawing that started a bit of shade in there as you can see on that arm Let's start with the droopy boobs for this uh, Cyclops. And to draw like hairs going crisscross different ways. You know, and you might have curly hairs or something, I don't know. Something like that. I'll start with this arm as well. Oh, 
And you can see the, the shape and the, the character of the Cyclops is starting to come together now. Quite nice. Draw some lines there, but I want most of the shading to fall on this side, mainly. Under there. Draw some wrinkles of fat at the top of the belly. belly button in there and it's sort of like wearing like a, a ragged looking um, nappy <laughs> or something you know that's to cover his uh, what's it you don't have to go into so much detail as uh, rags are just like rags make up as you go along and you could draw more hairs under there or just slight suggestions of hair which just helped us to add like detail you know to the, the cyclops creature later old probably old metal shackles maybe the creature was locked up at some stage or you know chained in a dungeon or something like that just make it open as you go along Don't be afraid to, you know, experiment with the ink. Um, you know, with the lines, like quick, quick sketch lines here and there. Um, you know, because sometimes you find out there's there's quite a lot of great results that come out of uh, quick sketching. Um, you know, the thinner the thinner lines against you know thick lines, things like that. That's something that I really like, you know, doing. So. That on this metal shackle. Draw a bit of shade in there. And we can Some detail there. Like I said, don't be afraid just to, you know, be quick with your your drawing. Use it in like a sketchy way. And now we can see, you know, the top half there. We work on this weapon now. And can angle the you know the the drawing on a different angle just to help. That helps usually when I draw. I ain't done it often though, so start to draw these spikes in here they could be like uh, old nails or they could be like 
I don't know, claws from a dragon or teeth from a dragon or something that he's found. So he's, he's just made him into like a, a clubbing weapon so he can club things, you know, over the head and kill him. <laughs> you know. So that's what Cyclopses do, I think. You know, I ain't seen one, you know, recently. Uh, so I can't comment on what they do in a spare time. So <laughs> anyway. change up the texture on this wood you know um, just think about like the grain of the wood you know like a, a tree branch or something you know aim to go for that you know texture which usually helps so I turn it back the right way now we can see you know we've done the top half um, the legs need a bit more work, um, but I think we'll start sketching over it anyway uh, with the ink pen. Just you know, I know what needs to be done. So you know the way he was with a hand you know you know we're drawing that in there and we draw the other leg we draw put some shadow just up there just to help separate between the leg and this cloth um, area that's all shading is really, it helps separate different areas of your drawing let's finish this foot now on because these cyclopses they're quite you know tall creatures so maybe you know some I don't know the legs have tried to be hacked or you know something like that maybe draw just some lines at the bottom just to give it some weight you know like it's properly standing and there we go, really just a cyclops. Now the next stage will be the colouring stage, um, so look out for that video. <laughs> 